Bibi Harshan Kaur dedicated to every woman who has lived and died for a righteous cause your actions continue to inspire us all this is a sakhi from the time of guru gobind singh ji six wanted the people of india to be able to practice their religions freely and live the way they wanted bibi harshan kaur became a kaur when she was very young she loved guru ji very much and wanted to make guru ji happy so she did her part and simran every day she never told lies and respected everyone equally due to her deep love for guru ji she was very strong in her faith bibi harshan kaur was very strong and brave she ate her vegetables and fruits every day in the year 1704 guru gobind singh ji and his 40 singhs battled the mughal army at chamkor's mud fort during the battle many of the mughal soldiers were hurt 36 of guru ji's soldiers were shaheed this included his two eldest sons baba ajit singh and baba jujhar singh guru ji was requested to leave the fort by the pant khalsa in the form of the panch pyare bhai sangat singh and guru gobind singh ji swapped clothes so the mughals would not know that guru ji left after leaving the battlefield guru ji traveled and eventually arrived at talwandi sabo now known as damdama sahib the mughals thought guru ji was gone and started spreading rumors throughout the villages gobind singh is no more gobind singh is no more his family is also finished no one is allowed to cremate the remaining singhs at chamkor we have sealed the area the mughals were going from village to village telling everyone that the revolution had died with guru gobind singh ji many people were scared and went back to their homes not so far away in the village krund bibi harshan kaur was saddened to hear that the remaining shaheed singhs were lying in the fields of chamkor she couldn't bear the thought of her sick brothers just lying in the battlefield she made up her mind that at whatever cost she would do the seva of cremating their bodies she said to her mother mata ji please can i have permission to go and cremate the bodies of the shaheeds and guru ji's two sahibzade her mother replied it's very dark and cold outside there are mughal soldiers everywhere how will you ever get near guru gobind singh ji's daughter bibi harshan kaur replied mata ji i must go even if i die trying i will try my very best to avoid the soldiers and return home safely hearing her brave daughter her mother thought she may be my blood but she is a daughter of the khalsa she is brave and strong her mother kissed her forehead and explained the maryada for performing the sikh cremation ceremony then bibi harshan kaur performed an ardas to wahe guru and left for chamkor fort when she arrived she looked for men with kare on their wrists kachhare and long kesh this was the only way to know the difference between the sikh soldiers and everyone else every time she found a shaheed singh she would say wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh and wipe his face then she would carefully and quietly take his body to where she would carry out the cremation she did this for every shaheed singh including the elder sahib zade baba ajit singh and baba jujhar singh she was doing wahe guru simran with every breath as she collected wood and lit the fire the mughal soldiers saw the flames from far away they ran to where the flames were coming from and to their surprise they saw a woman standing alone by the pyre bibi harshan kaur was reciting kirtan sohela the mughals asked her who are you she finished her part and roared like a lion i am the daughter of guru gobind singh ji what are you doing here the soldier asked i am cremating my shaheed brothers she replied it is a crime to come here shouted the soldier bibi harshan kaur replied i only follow the orders of the true king 
Guru Gobind Singh Ji. The soldiers were angry at her words. They suddenly tried to capture her. Bibi Harsharan Kaur grabbed her kirpan and defended herself. She was fighting them off strongly. The Mughal soldiers realized they could not capture her. So they picked her up and threw her onto the pyre with her Singh brothers. The next day, the seal around Chum Kaur was lifted. News of Bibi Harsharan Kaur's seva reached Guru Gobind Singh Ji at Talwandi Sabo Damdama Sahib. Bibi Harsharan Kaur was 19 years old. She loved her guru and his soldiers so much, she sacrificed her life to ensure they were not left on the field on Chamkor. Bibi Harsharan Kaur got her bravery from all the part and Simran she did. If you want to be brave like her, remember to do Vahiguru Simran and remember Gurbani every day. Grow your love for Sikhi by doing Seva and reading Sikh history. Bibi Harsharan Kaur also got her strength from eating lots of vegetables, fruits and dal. If you want that super strength, don't forget to eat lots of vegetables, fruits and healthy foods.